All right, afternoon softball today. We got a matchup between the Exeter Blue Hawks and Portsmouth. Exeter is six and two, and Portsmouth is two and four as we start this game. Uh, Portsmouth is starting up to bat here. And they're starting with Nasarian. Here comes the pitch. That one's low for a ball. It's a nice and comfortable 65 at game time here. That one misses for a ball, low to the right. The wind up in the pitch. That one sneaks in there for the strike. Pop up there, that one goes behind the batter's eye and out of the field. Count moves to two and two there. comes the pitch. That one misses high and moves the count to full. Sun's coming out now. That one's grounded to the pitcher and they throw that one to first to retire the first uh, batter there. Now striding up to the plate is number two, Carroll. Pitcher comes set. That one sneaks in there for a strike. Tried to check their swing there. Doesn't matter though, because that one was in the strike zone. Here comes the pitch. That one is grounded to the first baseman as they easily get that one to the base to make the second out. Now up to bat is number four, Milks. On deck is Douglas. Here comes the pitch. That one misses outside for a ball. Pitcher comes set. That one swung on high. Moves the count to one and one. The wind up. Another swing and a miss there. Same spot as last pitch there. Number four moved into the box a bit more to protect the plate here. Swing and a miss there to strike out that. That makes three outs. Exeter now going to get their chance to bat. Christiana getting loose in the batter's box there now.
Christiana strolling up now to that left batter's box. Pitcher winds up there, throws the ball. That one's a pop-up though. That one goes into the baseball field to the right. That moves the count to 0-1. As the next pitch here comes, that one was low and outside for a ball. That one was down the middle there, and he didn't swing on it. She thought it was going to be a ball, as it was, had a lot of movement on it there. Fly ball to the left. That one's caught by the left fielder to retire Christiana. Now up to bat is Summer LeClaire. Number nine. Personally my favorite number. That one misses inside for a ball. That one sneaks in there for a strike. Counts now one and one. Comes the pitch. That one high fly ball to the left fielder. That one caught to retire LeClaire. Now up to bat is number 15, Maddie Page. Here comes the pitch. That one, little inside, that was called a strike. Pitcher trying to jam them there. Line drive to left right field, I mean center right field. That one gets down. Maddie Page in with a double there. Calling a time here as they're taking off the elbow guard. Now up to the plate is Bickford. Here comes the pitch. That one up high to the right, just in the strike zone there. Swung popped up though over the dugout. That moves the count to 0-2. Probably want to focus on protecting the plate here, trying to just get something down. That one also is popped up and that off the batter's eye there. Pitcher coming set. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball to the first baseman. And that retires the side, stranding a runner on second there. Exeter with a hit off at the beginning here. Portsmouth still looking for their first. Oh. 
All right, stolen to the plate is Douglas, number eight. Both dugouts very excited right now. Here comes the pitch. Swung on, that one goes up and over the batter's eye though. Big upward swing action from number eight there, Miss Douglas. Here comes the pitch. Liner to center. That one gets down. Runner for second right now, sliding in there, safe. That is a two-bagger for Miss Douglas. All right, next up to bat is now Hindle. Strolling into that left batter's box. Here comes the first pitch. Tempted bunt, pulls it back though for a ball. Pitcher coming set. Comes the pitch, another attempted bunt. That one pulled back as well very quickly there to make it 2-0. and oh. That pitch, that moves it to 3-0 and oh now. They seem to be trying to pitch around her as they don't want to let a bunt get down to advance the runner to the third there on second. As the pitch comes in here, that's a strike. Counts three and one now. Here comes the pitch, another bunt. That one does get down as they drop the ball there. Both runners are now safe on first and third. That will be an error there for the first baseman as Miss Sargent strolls up to that right batter's box there. Runners at the corners now. And the pitch. That one's a strike. Moving the count to 0-1. Oh Another attempted bunt there. Gets that one down. That one, though, isn't out. Runner advances to second, and one comes across the plate to score there. That moves it to one out, though. As Cadel is now up to bat. The pitch. That one in there for a strike. Runner on second, very eager to get off there. Hard hit grounder there. That one scooped up and thrown out at first. Runner from second though advances. Two outs now as Holt strolls up to the plate here. And the pitch. Swing and a miss there. That one foul tipped. Move it to 0 and 2. Lots of twos in the inning right now. Two strikes, two outs, two innings. That one was foul tipped. Catcher trying to get him out, nailed in the back there. 
Runner on from third makes it into score there. Now up to the plate is Greco. I believe they just pinch ran there for the runner on first. All right, batter's ready now. The pitch, that one in there for a strike. Nasarian on deck right now for Portsmouth. That one is a swing and a miss. Runner's running for second there. That one gets past them. Runner now running for third. Runner advances there from first to third on that error. We're back to even more twos now. We got two for Portsmouth. We have a mound meeting there. Greco with an 0-2 count. Exeter really needs to stop the bleeding here. As that's fanned on to retire the side. Exeter with two errors in that inning there. Exeter hoping to maybe rally back there. Get some runs on the board. It's only the second inning, so it's not going to be too bad right now. to the plate now is Deja Rondo. This will be her first hack at the plate today. As here comes the pitch. That one in for a strike there. That one also in for a strike, 0-2 oh count now. Rondo might focus on protecting the plate more, shorten up on that bat hold. As that's a swing and a miss, a three pitch strikeout for Rondo today. Come on, Canna, start us off, kid. All right, here comes McKenna Whittier. That one's high for a ball. Come on, Gala, start us off. Start us off. Count is 1 and 0. As that one is low for a ball, moves it to 2 and 0. The pitch. High pop-up just over the visiting Stay dugout there. Straight through it. 
Two balls and one strike for Whittier. Here comes the pitch. That one taken high and outside for a ball. Three and one count. Very favorable count here. Here comes the pitch. And Whittier draws a walk. And now up to bat is number 13. Is that 19 actually, I mean. I'm lying to you, 19, Smith. So here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss there, high. Lose the count to 0-1. Exeter now with a base runner on. So here comes the pitch. That one high, they're doing a pitch out. Looking for that double play for Portsmouth. Here comes the pitch. Liner to right field there. That one gets down. Runners both stay. That was actually catcher's interference there. But either way, that was a hit. Now up to bat is man, number five. Come on, boys. Come on, Betty. Like I said, with two base runners now. One in scoring position as that one goes up to the batter's eye to move the count to 0-1. As the pitcher moves into the windup. Low pop up there. That one caught for out number two. Now up to bat is number three, Avery Allard. So here comes the pitch. That one in there for a strike. Exeter are really looking to try and score here. They got one runner in scoring position. As that one is liner to center. Runner rounding third, making it home. Runner on second stays. All right, number 23 is back, Annie Christiana. Trying to make a bunt. That one though, pulled back. They were covering the plate there as most of the players ran in. On Annie's last at bat, she flew out to left field. That one moves the count to one and I believe one. Right now, I don't know if the umpire called that a strike or a ball. And the pitch. That one for a ball. Christiana looking to drive something in here. Is that she takes that one for a walk? Now up to bat is Summer LeClerc. She's 0 for 1. Flew out also to the left fielder. Here's the pitch. That one taken high. Bases are currently loaded. Can be a great opportunity for scoring, but also an out is a force out is at any base right now. That one's taken low for a ball. Come on, 
Count is 2-0, and oh, very favorable count for a batter. As here comes the pitch, that one also taken high for a ball. Pitcher seems to be throwing high. They don't want anything in the dirt right now that could score a runner. If that one's taken for a strike. Moves the count to three and one. The pitch takes that for a walk. That drives in a runner. Now up to bat is Maddie Page. And they're gonna have a mound meeting here for Portsmouth. Still two outs in the inning right now. Pitcher staying in here as they get ready. The pitch, that one taken high. Wind up and the pitch. That one taken low and inside there. All base runners getting ready to sprint as that one is high. 3 0 oh again. Extra has now tied the game just with walks. And the pitch, that one is a four pitch walk to drive in another runner. Exeter now takes the lead three to two. As Bickford is now strolling up to the plate. And here comes the pitch, that one high. Another pitch there high. Almost over the catcher's head there. Yeah, the pitch. Third pitch there in a row. That was ball three. Still two outs in the inning here. Swing and a miss there to move the count to three and one. Big hack there. Looked like she was going for something deep. And the pitch. High pop up right behind the catcher. So make the play there to end the side. Exeter there, managing to, managing to push their lead ahead of Portsmouth by one there. It's now two to three as we move into the third inning here.
Moving to the top of the third here. It is Nisarian. Back to the top of the order here as the pitch comes in. Swing and a miss there, strike one. And the pitch lightly tapped there. Ball was heading towards the camera here and that one bounced off the wall though. Count moves to 0-2. And the pitch, swing and a miss there. Fans on three pitches. That will go as a backwards K there. Now up to bat is Carol. She grounded out in the first. Here comes the pitch. That one was low for a ball. pitch that one just high there to move it to two and zero one out in the inning right now Here comes the pitch that one very far off the plate there now three and0 oh. and the pitch. That one low and outside, four pitch walk for Carroll. Now up to the plate is Milks. Milks struck out last time that she was at the plate. And the pitch, that one taken high for a ball. That one swung on, fouled back to the batter's eye. Runners on first right now. Bun. That one gets down. Exeter though managing to get the out there. Runner advances to second though. Two outs in the inning. as now that is Douglas. On deck is Hindle. That one skied in the left field. Very deep there. That one though caught by the left fielder there. That one very close to the wall. Would have been on the warning track. Exeter managing to keep their lead there. Very close to a home run there almost. Temperature is cooling down here. It's currently 63. It certainly doesn't feel that way. It's very hot out here in left field. It's probably due to the sun coming out now from the clouds. On deck right now is number 11, Deja Rondo, as she's now strolling up to the plate.
Two up right now is five, six, and seven. As here comes the pitch. That one down by the knees for a strike. High pop up there. Just going into the outfield. That one gets down though. Center fielder. Rondo there doing a good job to make it into second there. Now up to bat is McKenna Whittier. She walked last time she came up. And the pitch. High pop up there by second base there. That one caught for the out. Now up is Smith. She's got a runner on second here. Scoring position. As here comes the pitch, that one low into the right. Here comes the pitch. That one swung on but missed. Moves the count to one and one. One out in the inning right now. Runners on second. Here's the pitch. That one low and outside. pitch. That one tapped to second base there. Out on first there, but runner advances to third. Now up to bat is Mann. She had a pop-up last time. Here comes the pitch. That one in the dirt there. As that one gets past the catcher, slide there, called safe. That moves Exeter's lead to two. It's now four to two in this game. That will be counted as an error on the catcher. Deep fly ball to center field. That one will be caught by the center fielder though to end the inning there. Exeter pushed their lead a little bit ahead there. So we move to the fourth. Do up this inning will be five, six, and seven for Portsmouth. Mound visit here. Lots of high fives for everybody. As Hindle is up to bat for Portsmouth here. And the pitch. That one low and outside. And the 
pitch. That one high. Moves the count, 2-0. and oh. That one down the middle there for a strike. Yeah, the pitch. That one pop up to the third baseman. That one caught for the out. Now up to the bay, the now up to bat. There we go. Is Sergeant. You call it a base, but I think it's bat. That one down the right field foul line there. That one stays foul. And the pitch. Swing and a miss there. Moves the count to 0-2. That one is strike three for Sargent. Backwards K there as Cadle now scrolls up, strolls up to the plate. Scrolls up to the plate. It's not a computer. Last time she had a sacrifice ground ball as she skies that one out to deep right field. That one caught though. Good hustle there to record out number three. That one was by Avery Allard. Now moving to the bottom of the fourth here. Exer still leads by two. Speaking of Avery Allard, she will be the first one to bat in this inning. It'll be 9-1-2 this inning. Due up. Allard now strolling up to the plate. Had a few hacks before getting up there. And the pitch. That one in for a strike. And the pitch, that one in the dirt there gets past the catcher. Luckily for Portsmouth, no one on base. That could have been bad. Count is one and one right now. As here comes the pitch, that one linered to center and caught by the center fielder for the first out of the inning. Now due up is Annie Christiana. She had a fly out and a walk. So she's 0 for 1 right now. That one's taken high for a ball. And the pitch. 
Attempted bunt there. That one gets down just across the right field foul line as she makes it to first there as they drop the ball. Use of speed there to get to first. They appear to be claiming some sort of catcher's interference here, I believe. They're going to call her out for that. That was a very nice bunt attempt, but unfortunately that is Yeah, they're going to call her out for that. That makes it two outs for LeClerc. She also drew a walk in the second. As here comes the pitch. That one low and outside. I mean inside. And the pitch. Grounder to first base. Scooped up by the first baseman to retire the side there. Portsmouth has eight, nine, and one due up right now. That would be Holt, Greco, and Nasarian. Practice right there as Holt strolls up to the right batter box there. Holt last inning reached on an error. Is that one? Flies out right towards me. Stopped that one. Count is 0-1 right now. That's taken for a ball. Moves the count to 1-1. One one. And the wind up. That one taken for a strike there. Holt looked like she was going to swing, but decided not to there. Snuck it in there for a strike. And the pitch. That one down low in the dirt. Count is two and two. Now it's swing and a miss. Passed ball though, tries to get the first, but that one is ultimately a strikeout. Now up is Greco. She struck out last time. And the pitch, that one. High, far pop up there into the baseball field again over the batter's eye. And the pitch, that one taken high and inside. Swing and a miss there. 
That moves the count to one and two. As here comes the pitch, that one down the middle there to retire the side. That is a strikeout. I don't know, that was not retiring the side. I'm, I apologize, that is not three outs. That is two outs. Nasarian is still due up. <laughs> A lot of bugs over here. That one's popped up behind the batter's eye. And the pitch. That one down low for ball one. Two outs in the inning. Both were strikeouts. And the pitch. Light tapper there. That one gets to the second baseman, but they drop it. Still manages to get it in there to first baseman for the ground out. Exeter now due up. It's going to be three, four, five. It'll be Paige Bickford and Rondo. Exeter still leads by two, four to two right now. As we move on here to the fifth inning. Page is now up there. And the pitch. That one high for a ball. Page is currently one for one with a double and a walk. As that one misses high for a ball. 2-0 the count. Pitcher winding up here as they throw that one. In for a strike. That one was down and inside there. And she'll see another one as that one goes up, caught by the second baseman there. Now up to bat is Bickford. She grounded out in the first and popped up in the second. So that one's in for a strike. 0-2 oh today. Yeah, the pitch there. That one inside for a ball. One out in the inning right now. Exeter still leading by two. As Portsmouth pitcher winds up here. Big swing there. That one ends up in right field. Just outside of the walls. And the pitch. That one high past the catcher there. 
for ball two. Counts two and two now. And the pitch. That one inside to move the count to full. And the pitch. Pop up there over and behind the batter's eye. And the pitch there, that one inside to draw a walk. Now up to bat is Deja Rondo, number 11. Rondo struck out and then hit a double in the fourth, I mean the third. Catcher dropped the ball there, but did a good job to get that back in. And the pitch here. Thought about swinging there, pulled back though. To move the count to two and zero. Oh. And the pitch there. Foul tip there as that one goes back to the batter's eye. That one in there for a strike. Moves the count to two and two. And the pitch. That one down low. Now a full count for Rondo. And the pitch, that one will be high for a walk. Two runners on now, first and second. One in scoring position for McKenna Whittier. Whittier has a walk and a fly out, so she's 0 for 1 right now. That one was high and missed for ball one. And the pitch, also high there. They're trying to, by there I mean Portsmouth, they are trying to keep the ball up high right now, prevent anything from in the dirt. Don't want to let any runners pass right now. And the pitch. That one high for ball three, counts three and zero right now. And the pitch. That one in there for a strike. Kind of looking to try and drive something in here. Powerful uh, liner there up the middle. That one loads the bases. That will be a liner single for McKenna Whittier. Now due up is Smith. Having a bit of a meeting here for the Blue Hawks. No, no, 
warming up a new pitcher here for Portsmouth. Smith getting loose right now as the pitcher also getting loose. And we will continue now here in the fifth. High and outside. High fly ball there to right center. That one caught by the right fielder. Runners advance from second and third, though, to drive in one more for Exeter. That will be a sack fly for Smith. And now due up is man number five. And the pitch. That one's low for ball one. Count is one and one right now. Man, the pitch. That one high. Ball two. That one low and inside by the shins. Counts three and one. There's two outs though. Portsmouth trying to get out of the jam here. As that's low for a walk. Now due up is Avery Allard, number three. Bases are loaded right now. As that one misses inside. Catcher drops that one. And pitch, that one very close to the batter there as that misses for ball two. That one missing inside for ball three. Three balls, zero strikes right now. That one's in for a strike. Swing and a miss there. That one was a foul tip. Moves the count to full. That one down low. Forces a runner in there, pushing the lead to four. Now batting is Annie Christiana. That one in for a ball. Bases are still loaded. On deck right now is Summer LeClerc. That one also misses for a ball. And 
As here comes the pitch. That one moving it to 3-0. and Poor Smith really struggling with the walk right now. That one's taken for ball four. That will drive in another runner. They're subbing out this pitcher for number 11, Darby Benson. There we go. Oh, no, that's 22. Give me one moment here. All right, there we go. I, I do not have number 22 on my roster, so unfortunately I cannot tell you the name there. But we will continue to warm up their pitcher here. Exeter softball field here is very nice, but there's one thing you can't forget if you do come here, and that is bug spray. There's a lot of bugs here, so that is the number one thing you can't forget. All right, we are back here. That one is fouled for strike one. And the pitch. That one high for ball two. Counts two and one right now. That one fouled back against the batter's eye there. And the pitch. That one gets past the catcher there. Runners all advance there. Now on second and third, another one comes in to score. Pushing it to seven for Exeter here. I mean eight for Exeter there. That one high pop up. Dropped by the second baseman. As Exeter gets all of the runners in there and the clerk with a double. Page is now coming up for the second time this inning. And the pitch. That one in there for a strike. Exeter now leads by eight, 10 to two. And the pitch. Liner to right field there. That one gets down. But that is foul. Counts 0 and 2 now. That one in there for strike three. Down looking for Page. Portsmouth finally able to stop the bleeding there after five runs, I believe. Five or six runs there crossed the plate. <laughs> now move to the sixth here. As Exeter gets ready to field, Portsmouth ready to bat. Carroll will be the first batter. It'll be 2 3 4 up to bat. Yeah. 
All right. Carroll currently up to bat for Portsmouth here. Down by eight right now. Really looking for something. That's down low for a ball. And the pitch. That one inside for a ball. And the pitch. That one is fouled down. Count is one and one. And the pitch. That one low and outside, I mean inside for a ball. And the pitch. And that will be a walk for Carroll. Now due up is Milks number four. That one's down low and inside. Exeter warming up a new pitcher now. Leinard, right center. That one gets down, right in the gap there. Exeter cutting there. So they get it in to the catcher. That is a triple for Milks. Now due up is Douglas. She had a double in the first and flew out in the third. And the pitch. Tried to take the swing back there, tried to check it, but that was ultimately a swing. As that moves the count to 0 and 1. And the pitch. That one in for a strike. Counts 0 and 2 now. Grounder to third there. That's out on first. Now do up is Hindle. She reached on an error in the first and pop up in the third. Tempted bunt there. That one is an out. Runner tries to make it home, they are safe. That will be a sack bunt for Hindle. Lead's now cut to just six. Still a very strong lead for Exeter there. Now due up is Sargent. And the pitch. Fouled there off the batter's eye. Counts 0-1. And the pitch. That's down low for a ball. Go, 
light tapper there just over the third baseman. That gets into left field. And that will be a single for Sargent. Now do up is Cadle, number 37. Cadle had a sack ground ball and a fly out. That one's over the catcher's head there as the runner from first makes it to second on that one. And the pitch. That one in there for a strike. And the pitch. Ground ball past the pitcher there to the shortstop as they get that one to the first baseman to retire the side. Exeter's turn to bat again. Due up is Bickford, Rondo, and Whittier. That'll be five, six, seven. Bickford strolling up to the plate now. Pitcher getting ready. Come set and a wind up in the pitch. In for a strike there, down by the knees. Now one in for a ball. Count is one and one right now. Exeter leads by six. Line drive to right field there. That one gets down in the gap. Bickford going for two. She makes it there standing. Now due up is Deja Rondo. The pitch, that one high inside for ball number one. Ball two there, so that one misses high. Runner on second right now in scoring position. Ground ball there to the second baseman, scoops it up there to collect the out there. Runner from second advances to third though. Now due up is McKenna Whittier. Whittier had a walk in the first and then flew out in the third. That's a pop-up behind the batter's eye. One out in the inning right now. And 
and the pitch. That one in there for a strike. Count is 0 and 2. And the pitch. Check swing there. Now one in for a ball. Ball two there. Count moves to two and two. And the pitch. Liner to second baseman for out number two. Bickford though does cross the plate to extend the lead. Now due up is Smith. Swing and a miss there for strike one. And the pitch. That one high for ball one. And the pitch. Swing and a miss there, strike two. Smith had a single in the first. She's one for two. Ball two there. Moves the count to even. High fly ball to left field. That one is over the fence for a home run for Smith. That's just a solo home run. That will extend the lead to 12. I mean, the score to 12, not the lead. Lead is eight. All right, strolling up to the plate is Mann. And the pitch, that one down low in the dirt for ball one. Ground ball to the third baseman there. So that is out number three. Portsmouth looking to try and claw back from an eight uh, run deficit here. Four to 12 the score. Due up for Portsmouth is Holt. Eight, nine, and one are going to be the batters for this inning. And the pitch. That one inside for a ball. And the pitch. That one grounded. And that one is foul. Count is one and one right now. And 
And the pitch. That one low and inside for ball two. Exeter with a stranglehold lead right now of eight. And the pitch. Ground ball to the outfield there. Still out at first. Never mind, that was actually safe at first. That will be a single for Holt. Now due up is Greco. They are pinch running the runner at first as well. All right, another timeout here. Remember what I said about those bugs. Oh my God, they're killer right now. Getting attacked over here. All right, the pitch. Now on outside for a ball. And the pitch. Now on fouled. Count is one and one. No outs in the inning right now. Runner on first. And the pitch. Now one in there for a strike. Counts one and two. And the pitch. That one passed the catcher there. Runner advances to second. Counts two and two for Greco. Greco last time up struck out. As she does fan there. Now up is Nasarian. One out in the inning. That one's grounded. Is fair there. Pitcher though holds on to it. Runners now at the corners for Carroll. And the pitch. That one in for a strike. That one off of the batter's foot there. But hit the dirt first, so that will be a ball. Oh, never mind, that will be a walk. Bases are now loaded. For Milks. Milks had a triple last inning. That one's in there for a strike. And 
And the pitch. That one just missed there for a ball. And the pitch. Foul tipped there. That moves the count to one and two. One out in the inning. Exeter really looking for a double play here to try and get out of it and end the game here. Swing and a miss there for the strikeout. Douglas now coming in as the last chance for Portsmouth. That one taken for a ball. And the pitch. That one high for a ball. Almost got past the catcher, but they did a good, nice job to catch it there. And the pitch. That one in there for a strike. Count is two and one. Because that one's high. Three balls, one strike. And the pitch. That one fouled, moves the count to full. And that one linered, but that is foul on the left field line. Potentially the last pitch here. As that one is lined past the third baseman. Left fielder now grabbing it. As they cut to the third baseman there. Scored two runs there on the double. Lead is now cut to six. This is now Hindle. And the pitch. Swing and a miss there, 0 and 1. And the pitch. That one low and outside. Ball one. And the pitch. Ground ball to the pitcher there. And that brings it to first base to end it. Exeter there coming out on top. 12 to six. A lot of scoring in this game. That pushes Exeter's wins to seven. It is now seven to two for them. And Portsmouth is now two and five. I'm Kyle Avenzio. Yeah, signing off for now.